A brand new COVID-19 variant is sparking major concerns among researchers nationwide. As the country struggles to get the COVID surge fueled by the Delta variant under control, now concerns about the virus mutating yet again. Health experts are monitoring this emerging mu variant. We're already seeing confirmed cases here in the U.S. The Delta variant is the most prominent strain of coronavirus in the United States. But other variants are also forming and spreading across the world. So viruses are very small organisms that essentially hijack hosts to, uh, to replicate themselves. When they do that, they bring in their own genome, their own, their own blueprints and code, and they use the host's machinery that would normally make the host cells replicate to make more of themselves. Different viruses have different error rates, but in essence, they make mistakes. And when they make mistakes copying themselves, some of those mistakes end up making viable virus that's slightly different than the parent virus. A mistake here or there might not seem like much, but viruses create hundreds, even thousands of copies each time they infect a cell, raising the rate of mutation significantly. If that variant makes the virus slightly better, even just slightly better, it's likely that that variant will get passed on to new cells. And then when the patient releases the virus, that, that variant might have a slight advantage in infecting the next person. And so when you propagate that over many generations, even a small advantage can mean that the variant will become dominant. The current state of coronavirus vaccines target the spike protein, which is where the virus infiltrates human cells. Any mutations at this location are cause for concern. The big concerns are, are twofold. One, that the virus will change enough that it is capable of causing more severe disease or of being transmitted more easily from one host to another. And second, that it could change fundamentally enough that the immunity from vaccines or even from previous infections might not be as effective at neutralizing the virus before it is able to infect um, a previously exposed host and, and cause disease. If a variant does evade our vaccines, viral spread will increase significantly. But new, updated vaccines can provide an answer here as well. Good news about the success of the RNA vaccines that have been um, developed and used so successfully in the response to the COVID pandemic is that those vaccines are relatively easy to change. But creating new vaccines still has its challenges. So one of the difficulties is, is just that you're always, to some extent, playing catch up and that we cannot predict which variants will arise up. So we can't make a vaccine for a variant that hasn't happened yet. So what we want to do is use all of the tools that we have, vaccination, um, distancing methods, masking, other measures that individually, they may not be 100% effective. But if we use them all together, we can effectively interrupt transmission of the virus in communities 